Now I want to tell you now about this getting yourself out there. This is very critical because a lot of times uh, people, especially producers, they don't really understand how important it is to be able to communicate themselves and, and their message to other people. You may think you're just <clears throat> selling beats, but you're actually selling yourself. Um, and that's how you make connections and build relationships and get doors open and where you thought they were closed. Um, you know, that's why a lot of people call a lot of things luck. And you know, he got lucky he met this person and all that kind of crap. It's really just that they were able to effectively communicate with somebody and build a relationship which led to bigger and better relationships. And that's what I'm going to teach you how to do right now. The first thing you got to understand is the secret art of communication. Very important. Um, most most producers, like I said, they 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 want to get, I understand, like I said, I understand that you have hot beats and you want to get them out there. So usually what I see is, you know, hey, hit me back, I got hot beats, check out my beats. And, and that's garbage. Like, that is not how you communicate with somebody. That's not how you build a relationship. It's never going to work, so stop doing it. You got to stop that. You got to start targeting exactly who you need to hit up. And so instead of just spamming people and saying, you know, hit me, hit, look at my beats, they're hot, check my beats, nobody's going to check it. They're going to delete it and say, get up, you're a clown. So what you have to do is you have to... Get in their head. You got to start getting in their head. Do your research. If you know this a &R, assistant a &R is on MySpace and he checks his MySpace, then you definitely don't want to hit him up with the usual, oh, check my beats. Doesn't make sense. You have to find out about that person. Do your research. Find out who they are. Find out their interests. Find out their, their, they got kids. Find out they got a wife. You got to find out whatever you can about that person. And then you use that to your advantage. You don't want you don't want to come off as check me help me out I need me 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 you got to talk about them you understand that them everything should be about them how they can benefit from working with you talk about how they is uh, you know are good and you're happy that you get a chance to even work with them you want to talk about how they are successful all people want to hear about are themselves they don't care about you and what you're doing but if you can relate what you're doing to how it will help them then they'll pay attention. Right? Just like think about when, when somebody comes to you with an idea or something, if they just tell you, you know, this is what I'm trying to do, help me, 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 you really don't even pay attention to it. But if somebody comes to you and says, hey, I can help you do X, Y, and Z, you're going to say, oh, I need that, you know, so I'm going to at least see what he has to say. And that's the secret of, of communication. You have to think about them, talk about how it will benefit them. Another thing that's very important about communication is being able to effectively approach artists. Um, a lot of times it's kind of like a school dance, you know, you have the, the producers over here, you got all these producers, and then you got all the artists over here. And then what happens is, just like at the dance, right, you can't just come over here and just grab a girl and then think it's, it's, it's on pop, and you got to have some game, right, you got to come communicate with them. And then you com after you communicate with them, you build that relationship. Well, it's no different. The producers over here, you're over here. So when you approach that artist, you can't just say, hey, check my beats, buy my beats, because it seems like you just want to make money off of them. Now, of course, you want to be about your business and sell beats, but first you have to get to know the artist. Even if they're a major artist, uh, uh, up-and-coming artist, an underground artist, or whatever that, the situation may be. So what's the most effective way to approach an individual as an artist and you know, your producer? Well, you know, from my experience, I would, first I would come, and if, it, if it's on my space, it doesn't have to be face-to-face, -face, but if it is face-to-face, -face, that's better. Our first thing I would do is talk about how much you like them. Pump their head up. You know what I mean? You gotta really, really get in their head. You gotta say, you know, oh, you're a great artist. And don't be bullshitting. You know what I mean? Like a lot of times, you know, you're just saying stuff to be phony, you know, just to get something. People can sense that. Be sincere. Really be happy for where they're at. Really be happy for them expressing their talents. Really, really just appreciate that they're able to do it. And they're really stepping out on the limb and it's really trying to express themselves. Be sincere. You have to be sincere. People can tell when you're just trying to get something out of them. So you let them, you know, tell them how much you enjoy their music and how much, you know, you think that, that you really appreciate what they're doing and you really appreciate the fact they're stepping out of their realm and putting their neck out there. Now, once you do that, you're in. You're in comfortable because then they're going to say, oh, okay, this guy's cool. And then you, you dig down the business. You say, okay, do you have a... Uh, a card, a business card, or something like that, that I can uh, contact you at a MySpace. You preferably want a telephone number, but you, after you get that contact, a, a different form of contact. You don't want to use the same mode. You want to get a different mode of contact. And and what happens is, then you tell them how they can benefit. Let them know that you have a beat, beats that that 
are, are the next hit single and, and let him know why those, well, it's critical it's critical for him to get a beat from you because he's looking to pop off he needs a hit single he, so you gotta let him know I have that hit single for you you know don't even talk about money and price yet T make him understand how much he needs your beats let, like he can't blow up without your beats that's the feeling you want to create and, and the way you do it is by letting him imagine say you know what if you had a beat that it's all over the club, you know, and you know you got that club banger for him. So you, you, you don't, you just say, you get, get that whole imagination going. Tell him, hey, you know, you're going to be in the clubs, you know, imagine, you know, if you were ever being all the ride, but, you know, you got to have a hot beat. And, and, and let him talk him into it. Let him know, you know, you got to have hot beats, you know, and, and that's very important. And that's how you talk to the artist. And then you, you let him hear your beats. And then you say, hey, can you give my beats a try? You know, like, go ahead and listen to them. But you can't be scared. Like the story, when I met uh, 40 Live, and, uh, and, and some G-Unit G -Unit West artists, when I first linked up with them, you know, we were at a Denny's. And, and I just saw, and somebody told me who they were, and then I just walked over, communicated, oh, listened to their music, said, oh, okay, you guys are nice, you guys are nice. And, and, and during the middle of it, I just slid in, hey, I'm a producer, you know, I make some beats, you know, if you want to check something out. And then, uh, and the rest is history. You know, I got a lot of slots because of that. Only because I approached them and, and, and I was able to communicate. Now, I, if I would have stood off and never approached them, I would never have been able to get none of those, no, none of those placements, none of those songs, and not, nothing. So it all starts with effective communication. You have to communicate effectively. Don't talk about, you know, yourself. Talk about them, and that's 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 gonna get you farther than anything you can imagine.